Another big story we're following tonight. A man is dead after a fight at a fast food restaurant. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Shay Arthur. Memphis police say the shooting happened in the airport area outside of a Domino's pizza off airways. WRG's Alan Self has been working to gather more information in this case. And Alan, you spoke with employees who were there at the time of that shooting. And what are they telling you led to that violence? Shay, witnesses say the shooting occurred after the victim attempted to purchase pizza with a counterfeit $20 bill. I know you got to be careful, man, because uh, folks be folks be doing crazy stuff. Uh, I be I be worried about it all the time when I be doing deliveries. A Domino's Pizza employee who requested to remain anonymous was stunned to learn about the deadly shooting Memphis police said happened outside his workplace on Airways Boulevard Saturday night. 33-year-old Eric Hodson is in custody, charged with second-degree murder. Police say a man showed up at the pickup window around 11:30 at night and tried to pay with a fake $20 bill. When employees refused, he became aggressive, climbing through the window and punching one of the workers. Yeah, he wanted it back, and she had already ripped it up, so when she tried to give it to him, that's when he, like, swung to get him. He tried to swung to get him. No, he opened it, like, with his hands. Like, he opened it himself and then reached in. Yeah, he hit him. He kept trying to swing all that stuff. Police say that's when Eric Hobson, who was dating the employee, stepped in. Witnesses say the two men began fighting in the parking lot, which lasted for over five minutes. We talked to an employee who witnessed the entire incident. She shared a video of the fight and described the chaos. She says the victim refused to leave and Hobson may have shot him by accident, trying to scare him off. Oh my God, he just shot him. The video shows Hobson approaching the victim after the shooting, appearing to render aid. This has raised questions by some witnesses if the shooting was accidental. That's why I said he didn't try to do it because he went to go help. Hobson was taken into custody at his home. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene. Hobson is now being held on a $150,000 bond. His court date is scheduled for Tuesday. For your news leader at 201 Poplar, I'm Alan Self, WREG News Channel 3.